I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Random Pulls because we're going to pull tiles that mimic a drawn hand just to practice decision making when you first get all those tiles. It can be a little overwhelming. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I like to roll the dice to randomize which player we are. If I roll an odd number, we'll be player one. If I roll an even number, we'll be player two. So I rolled an odd number, we'll be player two. That means we get 27 tiles. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can play here. We have a joker, a pair of flowers, pair of north, west, pair of red. So we do have some winds and dragons. Then here we have cracks, all singles. And we do have a bit of a run here and here. Down here we have one, three, five, six pair of eights. Pair of eights, pair of threes, pair of fours. Three four five three five four three four three four three four three four pair hand. How about three four three four pair hand? And then maybe little odds. Let's see how that looks. Three four three four pair hand because that pair hand uses dragons. That would be the second from the bottom under singles and pairs. Pair, three, four, matching dragon, three, four, matching dragon. So we have 10 tiles to a pair hand, which is not bad. Let's see if we have some better multiples here. We have eight, three, five. So I think this is a pretty good start for one hand. Now we need to see what we can do with the rest of these tiles. I don't think we're going to be able to use both the eight and the three together. We need to use one or the other. Since we don't have any flowers, I don't think a quint would be good and we only have one joker. So I think these wins are going to have to go. So there's three discards, but we do have potential joker bait. For he this, we could do five, six, seven, eight, Two, four, six, eight, but we have no four, so that's a gap. We do have fours here, but I think one, three, five, or or consecutive run with the little numbers might be good, but the challenge there is we've got little numbers down here. So maybe maybe uh, two, four, six, eight hand would be better. Let's just see what the discards look like. Joker bait, Joker bait, discards. So we have nine discards. We are playing a pair hand here, up here. We do have lots of eights. There is a two, four, six, eight with like numbers. The concealed one, three suits, two, four in pairs. That's a weakness. So two, four, six, eight, eight. We'd have to throw away 
this. Or we could do two, eight, four, six in the middle. That's the fourth hand down. We would need flowers and we're using them here. So I think either two, four, six, eight, or we have one, two, three, five. If we can get a four bam, I think I'd like to play two, four, six, eight, but if we get a four bam, we could maybe play one through five. So I think I would probably see about playing a two, four, six, eight hand, hold the consecutive tiles. We could always use this as joker bait and then discard these first. I think this is how I would play it. It feels a little kludgy, but I think that it utilizes the tiles pretty well. Discard, discard, joker bait. Two, four, six, eight potential. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards and clearly we have a lot of discards. So I would just gather every two, four, six, eight, bams and cracks, maybe some dots, and then hold these for potential consecutive run. I think that's how I would do it. The reason we're using the four down here is because of these dragons. Because I was thinking that we could do two, four, six, eight. But then we'd have to figure out how to use those dragons. I think this would be a good plan. It's going to take some footwork though to make it work. Which is one reason why Siamese Mahjong is so much fun. Let's go to the next one. This time I rolled an odd, so we're going to be player one, 28 tiles. Wow, four flowers. That's pretty good. The challenge is we have multiples with fours and that's it. I was thinking maybe we could do an addition hand, but the addition numbers are five, six, five, seven, and five, eight. We have no multiples with those. I think what I would like to try would be like numbers with fours and dragons, and then something with all these flowers. Let's see here. We have a pair of Souths. What about a Quint? There's the Quint with four flowers and a number with a, a wind. So four flowers, quint, quint. Maybe quint the force uh, with the cracks there. So we could maybe use these down here with all these bams. I was thinking though that we could play like numbers with dragons. We're missing a four though. There's a gap there. Playing Quint would be nice and we do have two jokers. You know what we could do too is play fours. Crack, crack, bam, dot. Quint with dragon, but 
that's pretty light. I think this is stronger. We got a Kong right there. Let's see if there might be some other way that we can use this Kong. Play like numbers with fours and try to use this Kong with these tiles down here. Four flowers besides addition would be a year hand, but we're using this dragon up here maybe. So I don't think I would consider a year hand. There are some consecutive tiles that could work. We do have five, six, seven. We do have one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Second from the bottom under consecutive run. Two, three, two, three. It's pretty light, but there's no, there are no gaps. Like numbers with dragons and then two, three with flowers. But look at all these discards. 11 discards. That's really bad. I try to get to where I have eight or fewer. So if we can come up with a plan to use three more tiles, that would be good. So let's see, where else could we use four flowers? I think we might be able to do something with little odds. We do have threes, one, three, and a five. Maybe hold little odds as an option. Little odds, third one down, Kong of ones, Kong of fives, and a pair of threes in the middle. So we really don't have the right numbers for that. We have a five and a three, but no one bam. We have no one crack, five crack. So it'd have to be with bams and it's super light. I think this probably can go. But maybe the one three or let's see here. What else could we do? I think that's going to be the best plan, actually, unless we have a plan B for addition. So four flowers. Here's a one, three, eight, five. We have an eight, no five dot. Eight, five, five, seven, five, six. Here's a um, five, six, five, six, three. Eight five. If we get a five bam, we could do eight five one three. That's a pretty big if though. Five six. Five six five six. This is just one tile short from this. One three. Okay, I think this is what I would do. I would focus on like numbers with fours, maybe even the like number quint, fourth one down under quints. But probably more likely the concealed like number hand. Hold this for joker bait. Down here, two, three, or five, six for the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Discard these first, see what builds up, and then go with that. There are no multiples, so we would just reassess when a multiple forms. And we have six discards and joker bait to get rid of before we have to decide. Maybe even hold the seven because we could do five, six, seven with flowers. We don't need four though, we only need two. I wanna leverage those, get rid of it. I think this is what I would do, get rid of those. Play consecutive run with either five, six, or two, three, like numbers with fours. I just had another thought. What about if we did a pair hand? 
three, four, three, four dragons. We're just going to reassess. Pair hand. Pair three, four, red, three, four, green. Second hand from the bottom under singles and pairs. Then down here, we have a pair of flowers. Two, three, six, eight, nine, one, two, five, six, seven. We could still use this as joker bait here. What about a year hand? No news with flowers for a year hand, but we do have year tiles. And look how many discards we have. Nine. That's better, I think. And really, it's more like seven with joker bait. We could use this joker bait to help out with a year hand. I think that's a much better plan. Pair hand, year hand. So for the year hand, with flowers, there are two options. The first one, four flowers, 2019. 2019 and then we need ones and nines here we have twos there's no like number hand under the year so that's gonna hurt 2019 news we want to use the flowers though the dragons we're using here so I don't know if a year hand is good for a minute it looked really good let's see if we can do something different what about eight nine dragon eight nine dragon or let's see eight nine dragon fifth hand down three flowers Kongs of eight, nine, and the dragon that matches. This is a lot of discards. Let's see. Actually, nine discards and joker bait. It's kind of a lot. But this was a really rough distribution of tiles, I think. Let's see what else could be done. Eight, nine, six flowers. Three six nine. Three six nine. Here we go. Here we go. Concealed. Three six nine concealed. Pair of flowers. Pung. 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 We just need to fill in. No gaps. So we have a pair hand. Joker bait, eight discards. That I think is a good plan. So the idea here is that you work with the tiles using as many as you can around your multiples and try to make a decision so that you have eight discards or less. If you have eight discards with joker bait, I think that's okay because you might be able to get a joker into your hand with good timing and, and watching what's happening at the table. The joker bait might be able to help with some needed jokers when it's light like this. So I think because this is three, six, nine, I would hold the six. Just hold everything for that category. So I would hold that six. Pair hand, three, six, nine, joker bait, discards. Let me know what you think about this and what you think about the eight discard guideline. I have found that to be a really great guideline. I use it whenever I play. And if I have more discards, I kind of think that I can come up with a better plan and you just have to work it, work it out, which is why this exercise 
is such a great help. Let's do one more. I rolled an even number, so we're going to be player two this time. 27 times. Look at all those cracks. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine. One, three, one, three, five, seven, nine. So we have singles with the flower, news, and dragons. We have one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Oop. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, five, six, three, five, six, three, four, six. That's not a five. That's a four, three, four, six discards. I was thinking that maybe we could do a, a, a year hand, maybe even the big hand, but we have no one nine dot. The big hand is two flowers in 2019 in three suits, but we've got a big gap, no dots. So I don't think I would go for that big pair hand. Now, I would maybe play news with a year hand. News with the year, eight tiles. That could be helpful there. And then here, Eight discards, joker bait, pair hand. We don't really need that. That's really light though. Seven tiles to a pair hand. That's the one through seven pairs in one suit. That's not good. I don't think that's good. I think we could do better. We can do better. This news year hand though, I think might be good. Or we could do even... Flowers one, two, dragon, or six, seven, dragon, or seven, eight, dragon. So there's some potential there up here. One, three, five, one, three, five, little odds, or one, three, five, seven, nine. All these tiles are useful except these. We didn't touch any of those through these ideas. Eight tiles to the year, six tiles to consecutive, and really we wouldn't be able to use all of them. Up here, one, three, five, seven, nine, or one through five. Maybe we could even use the dragon in something consecutive. I think what I would do here <laughs> is just discard these, see what comes in. This was rather difficult, I think. Quite challenging. Discard these. Because we have potential here, here, and here. All different hands. I don't think the tiles, though, work well together. So we don't have an 8 crack to do 7, 8 
consecutive six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have, let's see, we have one, two, three. We don't have like numbers to go with a one, two, three consecutive run, like the fourth hand down or fifth hand down, that kind of an idea. I think this is how I would play it. This was really difficult. We have one flower, so I don't think I would try an addition hand. You get all these tiles and you think it would be easy, but it's quite challenging. We do have a lot of 369 in here. Joker bait, year hand, either 369 or consecutive run. Because here we have 369, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For 369, there's one hand that uses a dragon that matches and one hand that uses a dragon in two suits, knitted. Here we have three, six, and then a six, but no nines for a knitted potential with the red dragon. So I don't think that's going to work. I think we could maybe earmark the dragon with these cracks. Straddle three, six, nine, and consecutive run or odds. We're in three categories here. Discard these, hold that for joker bait. I think that's how I would do this. This was quite challenging. A lot of people think that Siamese Mahjong is too easy, but it is not. As you could see from that last random pull, that was quite a challenge. If you have any ideas of what to do with those tiles, right? Random pull three or just pull three and what you would do with all those tiles. Three discards, joker bait. Year hand, pretty solid. Three, six, nine potential, but light. One, three, five, seven, nine, one multiple, very light. Consecutive run, potential pair hand, but only one multiple, the pair of three cracks. Very challenging, that one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.